hello children once again i welcome you to our class so fat what is meant by fat it is nothing but it is the oil content which is present in our food so it gives more energy than protein and carbohydrate it also helps to keep our body warm okay so these are all the plant source and then animal source of fat plant source and then animal source of fat okay this we this everything we had discussed in our last class yes okay and then vitamin vitamins are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so there are two categories micronutrients which are needed in smaller quantities and then macronutrient so these vitamins are named by letters for example vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin k so what is the function of these vitamins it helps in bone health and it is also good for our eyes teeth and skin okay it's it is good for our bones then types of vitamin i said you right that is water soluble and then fat soluble water soluble are vitamin b and vitamin c fat soluble are vitamin a d e and then k totally how many types of vitamins six okay so sources of vitamins so i said right vitamin a that is egg carrot carrot is good for our eyes yes or no and then papaya and then these are sources of vitamin b see here potato what is this chili and then fish vitamin c yes banana cabbage broccoli capsicum orange tomato yes and then vitamin d yes vitamin d what is the main source of vitamin d sunlight yes sir no sunlight is the main source of vitamin d and then vitamin e finally vitamin k so these are all the sources of vitamin one thing i said you you are able to remember it why small kids that is newborn babies are kept in sunlight for some time because to gain the vitamin d yes or no because what is the substance which is present there bilirubin yes it gives yellow color to the body so if the child is kept in the sunlight for some time so that sunlight helps in breakdown of the bilirubin substance so excess of this bilirubin substance may cause what i said yes it may cause jaundice yes or no excess of this bilirubin that is this yellow color which is present in the body may cause jaundice so if the child is kept in the sunlight so this bilirubin substance break down and our blood will be in red okay so next minerals and like vitamins minerals are also important substance minerals are almost present in soil and rocks yes minerals are present in soil so minerals how do we get that minerals because plants are planted yes or no so the roots absorb the minerals which are present in the soil and the humans who eat that plant are also able to get that minerals okay so what is that function of those mineral transmission of message through nervous system yes or no if you are keeping hand on some what if you are keeping the hands on a light that is heat so immediately what happens we feel the heat and the brain sends a message to our hands to take the hands immediately so these messages are sent with the help of what is that minerals can then help in the digestion of food so these are some of the types of mineral they are sodium potassium chloride calcium phosphorus magnesium and then sulfur okay so sources of minerals see these are all the iron calcium phosphorus and then iodine so these are some of the sources of minerals fine dietary fibers i said you right already not only this food also the dietary fibers are also needed for our body we said this nutrient what is needed needed fibers and water so these are known as roughage what is this called dietary fibers are called as rough age so what is the source of this roughage fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are the source of this roughage okay 
and then water water is very important for our body how many liters of water we need to drink children per day so 4 to 6 liter of water we need to drink so how many liters 4 to 6 liters of water we need to drink for a day so drink more water keep our body healthy okay and then balanced diet yes you may ask a question I eat all the fruits and vegetables and healthy things. What is the need for me to maintain diet? Yes, because the vitamins, minerals, everything which are present in the food material are evaporated. That is, for example, if we cut the vegetables, for example, if we cut the carrot and then wash it. While washing the vitamins which are present in the carrot are washed away along with water. Yes, so need not to wash the vegetables after cutting. So we must wash the vegetables before cutting and then few minerals are also evaporated while cooking or lost while cooking. So there is a need of taking all the essential nutrients in the right way. So a balanced diet is a way of eating all of the night right nutrients that our body needs to be healthy okay so what is this is a food pyramid for a small baby okay for healthy toddlers that is small kids what are all they first which is to be taken in large quantity that is grains and pulses and then fruits and vegetables and then dairy products and the least priority goes to the fat so, for the healthy growth, we need to maintain a proper diet. Okay. So, obesity. What is mean by this obesity? A medic, it is a medical condition in which excess of body fat is accumulated in our body. So, I said you write body mass index that is weight by our meter square formula. Are you able to remember or not? So, if you have a particular height, that particular weight must be there. If it is beyond that condition, it is considered to be obese. That is obesity. So, what is the formula for that kilogram by meter square? What is that meter square? Our height. Our height is to be measured. Yes, we had seen it detailed in our previous session. Okay. And then obesity. So, what is this obesity? The accumulation of fat in our body. I said fat must be taken but at the right amount we need to take. Continuous consumption of fat leads to the storage of fat and it may become a block and stops the blood circulation to the heart. So there may be chance of heart attack also. So the fat are to be taken in a right amount. And then vitamin deficiency diseases. So, what are all the diseases which are caused due to the vitamin deficiency? So, vitamin A is important for our eyes. So, it may cause what? Eye diseases. And then vitamin D, vitamin E and then vitamin K. So, these are all some of the diseases which are caused due to the deficiency of particular vitamins. Okay. And then these are some of the mineral deficiency diseases. What is that? Mineral deficiency diseases, diseases, okay. And then zinc, copper, cobalt, selenium, molybdenum, and these are some of the diseases, okay. And then, so mind map. I gave you in the first class, right? So, if the lesson components of food comes to your mind, you must think of the mind map only first. What is the thing first which we had seen? We had seen about nutrients. Yes, what is mean by nutrients? The components which are present in the food are called as nutrients. Yes, and then types of nutrients. There are six categories we had seen, right? Including water also. And then balanced classification of food we had seen based on the nutrients. And then balanced diet, deficiency diseases, obesity. So these are all the topic so what is that these are all the topics which we had discussed in this lesson yes or no and one more thing try to take a note of it take a paper pencil something fast have a note vitamin a causes what 
loss of vision what is that vision sight so deficiency of vitamin a causes loss of vision okay and then vitamin b causes beri beri that is nothing but muscles became very weak muscles became very weak and we don't even get energy to do work okay and then vitamin c scurvy that is nothing but bleeding in gums bleeding in teeth gums okay and then one more thing is wounds do not get healed faster wounds do not get healed faster okay and then vitamin d what is that rickets vitamin d what is the disease caused rickets it is nothing but bones became soft so there will be no proper strength for the bones it will be lean so legs will be not like this straight it will be lean okay and then iodine i said you right already goiter deficiency of iodine causes what disease goiter disease what is mean by goiter swelling of this neck region that is the thyroid gland okay swelling of the thyroid gland causes goiter disease it is caused due to the deficiency of iodine so just for the first lesson also i gave you mind map right so for the second lesson what must come to your mind first nutrients what is mean by nutrients okay and then classification of food that is based on the nutrients how the food are classified that is nothing but carbohydrate protein fat mineral vitamins and then water so what are the sources of that also you need to keep in mind okay and then coming to the next is balanced diet what is the what is mean by balanced diet taking the right amount of nutrient content of all the nutrient content in right way is called as balanced having a equal amount of all the food content not eating too much of one and less when everything must be equal okay and then deficiency diseases so vitamin deficiency diseases and then mineral deficiency diseases and then obesity what is mean by obesity obesity means what must come to your mind fat obesity means what must come to your mind fat so the accumulation of fat in the body causes health risk health risk means it may cause many problems so one more thing what we have discussed there bmi what is mean by bmi children yes body mass index okay this is the mind map and then so these are all the key points these are all the key points which you need to remember in this lesson so the major nutrients in our food are carbohydrates protein fat vitamin and then minerals so what do these carbohydrates and fat do they provide energy to our body what is the work of the carbohydrate and fat they provide energy to our body proteins and minerals are required for growth and maintenance of our body carbohydrate fat provide energy proteins and minerals growth and maintenance of body and then vitamins helps in protecting our body against diseases so these are all the work of all these nutrients okay and then balanced diet it provides all the nutrients to our body which the body needs okay and then deficiency of one or more nutrients in our food for a long time causes diseases or disorders what is that deficiency of one or more nutrients in our food for a long time causes diseases or disorders okay now try to answer this question okay so the nutrients which mainly give energy to our body so which nutrient mainly give energy to our body yes it is there very good carbohydrates and fat what is that carbohydrates and then fat okay a vitamin which is required for good eyesight good eyesight what is the vitamin needed yes very good vitamin a vitamin a okay and then last question a minerals that is required for keeping our body healthy mineral which is required for keeping our body healthy yes minerals very good okay 
and then i thank you all for listening the 